Hey guys and welcome back to my FPL strategy. Before looking ahead to game with 26, let's take a look at how my team performed for game with 25. Another clean sheet of Burnley recorded their ninth clean sheet of the season with a goalless draw against the Gunners. Who would have thought it that Pope would return a total of 28 points against the likes of Leicester City, Man United and Arsenal? Wow. Just the one clean sheet in defence with Trent returning for the ninth consecutive game week. Bournemouth conceded just the one goal after Lama was sent off in the second half. And Lundstrom has now been named on the bench for the third time in all competitions, missing out on the clean sheet against Crystal Palace. In midfield, Captain Salah came to the rescue, scoring the brace against Southampton, whilst Countwell, Kevin De Bruyne, Grealish and Flett all blanked. No improvements up front with both Carvet Lewin and Vardy returning just two points for match appearance. But thanks to Salah and Pope for this game week and managed to score above the average with 59 points, 12 points above the game week average, improving my ranking by 50,000 places. So moving on to my transfer thoughts for the upcoming game week. With one free transfer and 7.5 mil in the bank, my thinking is to improve my dying defence. One option is to transfer out either Lundstrom or Tomore for a Liverpool defender. My initial thoughts was to bring in either Van Dijk or Robertson, but with Gomez now secured in Liverpool starting 11 and more than a mil cheaper, I'm now leaning towards the English defender. In addition, considering West Ham's current form, I'm reviewing the option of taking a minus four hit for Aguero, for either Carbet Lewin or Vardy. Despite Man City blanking in game 28, it's extremely difficult to ignore the juicy home fixture against the Hammers. West Ham have the worst record for big chances conceded in the last four game weeks, and are up against a team who has the second best record for big chances created. Note, I haven't yet made none of these moves, and will probably wait till Friday to do so, giving me plenty of time to review my options. But at the moment, I'm leaning towards of getting rid of Tomore and Carbet Lewin, utilizing a 3 4 3 formation with Aguero as my captain. Like always, my team is not locked in, but I will announce my final team selection on Twitter, so be sure to check me out there. Details in the description below. And of course, if you enjoyed today's episode, Hit the like button and get subscribed. Otherwise, this is my FPL strategy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.